Welcome back. This is an Alex training video on understanding the definition of enthalpy. So enthalpy, let's write some notes. Enthalpy is capital letter H and it is the total heat content of the system. You can understand that chemistry you can have hot things and you can have hot things that lose energy to other things and make other things hot. Or can energy can be put into something that would increase the wiggling of the molecule or all kinds of things. Energy is like money. It can be put into something or taken out of something. And the enthalpy, capital letter H, is the total heat content of the system. All right, it's, it's, um, it's given with a formula. So let me give you the formula here. It's the change in enthalpy is equal to the total energy of the system plus the product of the pressure times the change in volume. Okay. Um, okay, so we're going to see that if delta H is positive, then heat has been gained in the system. All right, so let's say the reactants is the system. The, the bonds, the bonds of the reactants, uh, energy has been put into those bonds. So there's more energy stored in the bonds at the end of a reaction than was stored at the bonds at the, in, at the beginning of the reaction. Okay, Then if you have a positive, if you have delta H is a positive number, a positive number, then it gains heat, and that's called endothermic. Endothermic. Conversely, if it loses heat, if it's a negative number, it loses heat, and it's called exothermic. So exothermic. So if you look up here, this should twinge something in your memory. Something in your memory had to do with pressure and the change of volume. Something that we've done in, in the past. And we see that that work is equal to the negative pressure times the change in volume. Okay, so that means that enthalpy, change in enthalpy is equal to the change in energy minus work. Okay. Let's uh, solve for energy just a minute so you can see what you've already learned. You, you remember you already learned that energy, the change in energy is equal to Q, which is heat, plus work. The uh, heat done on the system gives you more energy. So if I put an iron in the fire and make it very, very hot, I've given that iron energy. It'll, I could give it so much energy that it would glow red. Okay, so I've increased its energy with heat. Or I could do work on that. Like I could hit it with a hammer over and over again and give it so much heat, so much energy that I could also uh, make it glow red just by hammering it, not by putting it in the fire, but just by doing work on it. Rub your hands together and they'll get warm because you're doing work on them and you've increased the energy on the hands. So so they're, they're converse, it's all together. So you've got change of energy is Q plus W. Let's solve for change of energy here. Well, change of energy, let's keep it on the side. So let's bring W over and have change of energy equals change in enthalpy plus work. Well, what's that? Look. Do you see the difference? Do you see the same? 
I've got change of en en energy equals something plus work. Well, change of energy is Q plus work. So what does that mean? That, ch that enthalpy is equal to heat at constant pressure. At constant pressure. So as long as the pressure doesn't change, say we do an experiment on my desk in beakers and pour one thing into another at constant pressure to where their atmospheric pressure doesn't change, the, in, the internal energy is just equal to the heat. Okay. Now, if the pressure changes, then what I'm doing is I'm doing work, I'm doing work on the environment and everything like that. And so I could get the, the heat plus the work to be my energy. But as long as my pressure is the same, my total energy is just equal to the heat. So heat in or heat out is all that I'm interested in. I certainly realize that this is hard. This is hard, um, but step at a time and you can learn anything. You could eat an elephant with a teaspoon if you, if you worked slow and hard enough at it. All right, so let's see what we have. It says that the enthalpy of a mixture decreases by 326 kilojoules. All right, so my enthalpy, so let's do it here. My enthalpy is, I want this, I want this, um, well, let's do, let's do it here. Enthal, let's do it this one. Okay, I'll, I'll rewrite it. Change of energy equals change in enthalpy plus work. Okay. Well, if that's the definition, it says that 326 kilojoules was decreased. The enthalpy was decreased during a reaction. Okay, so I'm going to say change in E, change in energy equals negative 326 kilojoules. Right? And then it says that a negative 194 kilojoules of work was done on the mixture. Okay, It's just a different way of saying that the mixture did work on the environment. So it's a negative work. Negative 194 kilojoules of work. Okay, well, That's not hard, that's just a little bit of arithmetic. So we're going to see together that the change in energy equals negative 520 kilojoules. Okay, that's how much energy is. So, <clears throat> let's see if we can answer the questions. Calculate the change in energy. Okay, that's the change in energy of the gas mixture during the reaction. Be sure your answer has the correct number of significant digits. Okay, so this is three this is three, this is three, so I'm okay. All right, so I need the negative because it shows the change. The change is either gonna be positive or negative, so I need the negative here. So it's gonna be negative 520 kilojoules. And then the next question says, is the reaction exothermic or endothermic? Well, it's a negative, it's a negative number that means it's losing heat, so the surrounding, so the thermic is, is heat. Exo means it's going out of the bonds and into the environment. Okay, so this is negative 520, so this would be exothermic. All right, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going.